Hey you, welcome to Sunday Explorers today. Let's learn from the one who died for our sins and rose again. Jesus Christ turned water into wine, taught the people like you and I. He fed over five thousand and healed the sin. Hey you, welcome to Sunday Explorers today. Yeah. Anyway, for now, let's take some choruses. Now, uh, do you, I don't know if you have a chord you'd like to sing. Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you that we can pray. And we thank you for your Son, the Lord Jesus, who loves each one of us. Just pray that today, as we think about him, uh, you may speak to uh, each person here, particularly the kids. We just ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Uh, well, well, now, last week, you we actually did really well at first. And it was a beautiful thing to say. Now, I know this is the most exciting part of the Sunday school. So, what we've got. It's some motivation for you, okay? okay? Now here I have three little sweeties, okay? And there's three of to you, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to learn it and we'll all get it with you, okay? Now we're going to try and be really clear. No, we don't want to shout, but we want to be very nice and clear and distinct, okay? So, together. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your mind. mind. Matthew chapter 22, yeah. verse 37. Okay. And I don't know if you remember our friend Nicodemus. Well, Ben's got a story all about him. So that'll be really interesting. And once you finish your sweeties. <laughs> the whole point of that story is that Nicodemus went to talk to the Lord Jesus one day. Okay. And that's the story that we're going to learn about today. Now, um, we've been learning all about the Lord Jesus. By the way, kids. We do have the Benjamin sack, and someone is watching you very closely right now to, to pick who is the best behaved, okay? So behave well, listen, because there's going to be questions afterwards as well, okay? So one night... One night, there was a man called Nicodemus. And Nicodemus, he was pacing around his house. He was really worried, kids. He was wondering, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Can it be that he really is? No, it can't be. I don't understand that. He had all these questions in his mind. Okay? He was walking around in his living room. He was drinking his cup of tea. And he was thinking, how can it be this? And he was, he was really confused, kids, and it was night time, and he thought, he'd heard about the Lord Jesus, this amazing person who was doing all these miracles, who was teaching people many things, who was creating lots of science, who was healing people, who had leprosy, who were blind, who couldn't walk, who couldn't see, people who uh, had infirmities that were impossible to cure by doctors, 
and he had heard about the Lord Jesus and about all the amazing things that he was doing. And this man, kids, this man Nicodemus, he was a ruler. He had a really, really important job. Okay, he had a really important job. In fact, the Bible uh, makes it very clear that Nicodemus, he was a ruler of the Jews and he was a member of the Jewish ruling council, kids. Flora. So Nicodemus, he had a really important job. So he probably didn't have a little house. He probably had a big house. He probably had servants. He probably had responsibilities and power. And yet this night, this man Nicodemus, he didn't ask anyone to do anything for him. He went out at night. And because it was quite cold outside, as it is over there, he put on his hat. He put on his hat. Because he thought, right, you know, it might be windy outside, so he put on his hat. And he decided to go and see the Lord Jesus himself. Okay, so he put on his hat. Now this is basically like your dad putting on a cap at home or something, kids. Okay, so he put on his hat and he went to see the Lord Jesus. And the Bible says that he arrived at night to see the Lord Jesus. And I'm going to tell you what the Bible says, okay. He knocked on the door. He wanted to see the Lord Jesus and he said, Rabbi, so he came and he wanted to talk to the Lord Jesus and the Lord Jesus invited him into the house where he was staying and they sat down and Nicodemus, he was pacing around his house, he said, Rabbi, which was one of the names of the Lord Jesus, David, he said, we know that you are a teacher come from God for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. He said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher. He was looking at the Lord Jesus and he said, we know that you're a teacher, come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Okay? And so basically, Nicodemus, like many other people, he, he saw the Lord Jesus do these things and he heard loads of things about him and he didn't understand how he could do these things. And he, he took off his hat because it was quite warm inside by that point. But the thing is, kids, Nicodemus, he was part of a group of people that most of them didn't really like the Lord Jesus. Now, if you saw a man come to your school and imagine there was somebody in your school who was really ill, really sick, okay, Flora, and, and there was no cure for that child, they had something wrong with them, some, some illness, and there's nothing, and imagine you saw a man come and he heals that kid, okay, that friend of yours. These people were seeing the Lord Jesus do these amazing miracles, imagine that. And there was one group of people who believed in what he was doing, who trusted the Lord Jesus, who could see that he was someone with authority over these things. And those people were mainly the disciples and the followers that followed him. But there was another group of people called the Pharisees, the scribes and other people. And they were jealous of the Lord Jesus. And Nicodemus was more from this side of the group. He was part of a group of people who had power, who had money, who had authority. But unlike all his friends who thought, the Lord, this man, you know, he thinks too much of himself. How can he say and do the things that he's doing? Nicodemus, he was using his head kids. Okay? And, and it says here in this verse, you shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. See all these cogs here. Yeah? He was using his head, he was thinking about this. And instead of just not believing the Lord Jesus, he was thinking about it and he thought, I'm going to go and talk to him myself. And you know what the Lord Jesus said to him? He said, truly, truly, I say to you, unless you are born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I'm going to say it again, okay? I say to you, the Lord Jesus said to Nicodemus, and Nicodemus was there, sat down in it, and he was like, I don't understand, Lord. And the Lord Jesus said to him, truly, truly, I say to you, unless, you are, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, on the song, we had two birthday cakes. Hannah, do you get one birthday cake or two birthday cakes on your birthday? Um, I get one. One birthday cake, yeah. I do as well. We don't normally get two, do we? Flora, when it's your birthday, do you get a cake? You get two, two cakes. Right, well that's ruined my story now, I'm joking. No, does she get two cakes, Callum? No. No, two big cakes, no, Mum. 
Okay, so we anyway, kids, that's not the point I, I'm making here. But you got you get a cake to celebrate your one birthday. But the Lord Jesus says very clearly here, unless one is born again. And the Lord Jesus said to him, Unless you are born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So in other words, he was saying, unless you are born again, you cannot go to heaven and see the kingdom of God. Now, what did he mean? Flora, what did he mean, born again? Um, he meant do the thing again. Yeah, do the thing again. But what, do what again? How can you be born two times? Now, I'm going to show you something, kids, okay? I'm going to show you something now that has happened very recently, okay? <laughs> so, what's going on? <laughs> so I'm going to show you something here. Come here. So this sponge here, this little object here. Now the, her name is Aoi, okay? Uh, and I know you know you guys know who it is, but there's people watching online that might not know who she is. Her name is Aoi, and she has just been born recently, very recently. Okay, so she's a, a what, what, what would be described as a newborn baby, okay? And she was in her mummy's tummy, okay, for quite a while. In fact, increasingly annoying the amount of time she was in there for. She, she, we were getting quite impatient about it, but she was in there for a long time. And, and she was born very recently. Now, kids, how can Eowyn be born two times? And that is exactly what Nicodemus said, okay? And I'm going to read it to you. Well done, Hannah. It says, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Now, I've had two birthdays. You're probably thinking you've had about 50 birthdays, but I've had two birthdays. Right? Why have I had two birthdays? You know why? You've got one, and hopefully one day you'll have two. <laughs> Why do you think I've had two birthdays? Because I haven't grown up yet. Lois might disagree with that, but I am. <laughs> but it's because I had one birthday when I was born, and I had another when I trusted in somebody. Who did I trust in? Who did I believe in? Um, God. God and Jesus. Jesus. So I've had two birthdays because I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe he died on the cross for me. You've got two birthdays. I'm really pleased that you've got two birthdays because that's what God wants us for us all. Oh, Nicodemus, for a walk, visited Jesus one night for a talk. The miracle worker, he calls it so. Live up to heaven, all demons will go. Only one birthday, just would not do. To get to glory, he needs to have two. So trust in the Savior, see him today. For my believing, yes, this is God's way. For my believing, yes, this is God's way. Only the demons to walk. This to Jesus one night for a talk. Miracle worker, he calls it so. We're up to heaven, old demons would go. Only one birthday, just would not do. To get to glory, he'd need to have two. So trust in the Savior, I receive you today. For I believe in, yes, this is God's way. For I believe in, yes, this is God's way. So Ben told us a story about a man, I'm not going to tell you his name yet, but he said at the start of the story, this man was pacing up and down in his front room. And he said, he told us that while he was doing it, he was having something to drink. Now this isn't really in the Bible. Well, I don't think it is. But Ben does what we teach things in the Bible, kids. What was he drinking? Do you remember what Ben said he was having to drink? A cup of... Drink, it was a drink. Do you know what it was? <coughs> cup of tea. Well done. <laughs> well, he, kind of, he was having a cup of tea. I would have had a coffee myself, but Nicodemus was a tea man. Oh, oh, sorry, Dave. No, we're going to chair. 
Oh, not, yeah, that's kind of very good. Next time you'll stand up a bit further. <laughs> right, okay, so he was having a cup of tea, and he was, what was, there was something going on in his mind. Was, was he happy or was he a bit worried? He was a little bit worried, wasn't he? Well done, Anna. She was about to say confused. That's even better. That was better than what I would say. Well done, Anna. That was good. Oh, it's sweet to the bell. Didn't know that. That's a good answer. Right, okay. So we'll try and get one for you now, for here. See how well you're listening. Do you remember the name of this man? We've just been singing about him. He's got a funny name. Nick, Nick. Do you know it? Nicodemus. Well done, well done, Laura. You got, you got a little bit of them, and you got a bit of help with them. Whoa! Oh, that's a good strike. That's a good arm, that one. I tell you what, you deserve a bonus point for that action. Uh, if you're an American, you can take up baseball. Right, okay, so this man, Nicodemus, is a bit troubled, he's confused, like you said, Anna. And he's walking up and down in his room, and uh, he thinks, what am I going to do? Now, he's going to go and meet someone. Who does he go to meet? Do you know, David? Jesus, good lad. Right, now this time, you're going to have another friend, right? Try and stand <laughs> just just to be you know just to be fair to the other kids. <laughs> maybe about that. We'll let you have it from there, David. Go on. Oh, go, go. Oh, oh, good try. Good try. Good job. Can you get up? Yeah. Good lad. Right. Okay. So I forgot where I'm at. So he was going to go and see the Lord Jesus, right? <clears throat> now, what did he ask the Lord Jesus? This is very tricky. Do you remember what he said to them? Um, he said, how am I going to have two birthdays if I'm really old? Yeah. I tell you what, you're very clever. I wasn't even going to say that, but I'll let you have that. That was very good. Well, then, very good. Maybe somebody's keeping these scores. I didn't ask to plan that far ahead. <laughs> I think it's one of them. And it's not the end of the time. Ah, well done. So we've got a few bright people in here, kids, <laughs> unlike the man who's doing the quiz. Right, okay, so he, he was asking about birthdays, right? How many birthdays? Well, now, Ben said that when, when Nicodemus, you're trying to work it out in your hand, aren't you? Nick? Good luck. Ben said when Nicodemus went away, his mind was a lot something. What was it he said? He said he walked away and his mind was a lot. It's a bit tricky, this one. I didn't mean to do that. His mind was a lot. So if you look at those windows on that side, they're pretty dirty. If you look at the windows on that side, they're quite clean. Have you ever noticed that? Those windows are a lot clearer. Ben said his mind was a lot clearer. When you understand, kids, when you understand what God wants you to know, God wants you to know that his son, Jesus Christ, Died for your sins so that you could be forgiven if you believe in him. When you understand that, your mind is a lot clearer. And God wants you to understand that. So that's why we teach you all these things because it's what God wants you to know. So, anyway, well done. You remembered all those questions well. And see if you can remember that next week that he, he had two birthdays. The Lord talked about two birthdays one when you're born, and then he said, when you're born again, you trust in the Lord Jesus, that's your second birthday, and we can all have that. Okay, so we just finished with a prayer. We just finished with a prayer mainly because I want to see your prayer. Drill again. You ready? Go on, that's good. You ready, David? One, two, three, Father. We just thank you for the good time we've had together today. Uh, we thank you for this man, Nicodemus, who uh, met the Lord Jesus. Thank you for what the Lord Jesus told him. And we just pray that all of us, uh, one day, uh, especially the kids, will come to know the Lord as their Saviour and uh, have two birthdays. Uh, we just thank you for the time we share together and we pray for safety as we go now. 
And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, kids. Amen. Amen.